Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am Pete Orsi, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in this tenth and final video tutorial in our ten-part video tutorial series on creating an advanced e-commerce site using Drupal 7 and Ubercart, I've decided to forego the typical "let's wrap this series up" and I'll recap everything for you and show you another way that we can expand Ubercart, and that's to create an affiliate system to further our sales on our e-commerce site. Now, two things I wanted to draw your attention to before we start that. And the first is, I've obviously pooched the site when I was preparing for this and I screwed up the database so I had to reload from the beginning of the video tutorial series. That shouldn't hurt us here, but you'll notice that I've got a different theme going and everything that we've done up till now, it won't be here. Secondly, there's this awesome uh, Drupal uh, document page that lists all of these Ubercart uh, 3 modules. And you can run through this entire list, but essentially these are some popular modules that integrate with Ubercart one of which is the affiliate system, but there's a whole bunch on here, and some of these are what I used in the video tutorial series um, just to develop the system. So it's nice to check out. I recommend you do so if you're interested in developing e-commerce sites. So it's just at drupal.org slash node slash 1593380. But those two things said, let's get started on our affiliate system. So we're gonna go back to drupal.org slash project, and now we're gonna go to uh, UC Affiliate 2. And so this is the module that we'll be largely relying upon. You can go ahead and at the time of recording this, it's 7.x 1.3. So grab that. You're also then going to go ahead and go apply for role. And so what this allows us to do is have people apply to become affiliates on our site. So you can go ahead and grab that. You'll see uh, the version that's available at the time of recording this. Then you are going to grab profile 2. And so you'll get uh, 7.x-1.3, and that's it. Then we can head back over to our site, and we can start getting uh, underway here. So you'll notice I'm just on my actions page. I was checking a few things out there. So first thing we need to do is we need to go and create a role, as I mentioned, because that's what this um, system is going to be largely reliant on. So I'm just going to create an affiliate role. And the reason we do that is because we go into edit permissions, and you want to scroll down. Of course, this is a lot harder to find. There we go, act as an affiliate. So we'll go ahead and check that off. And just in case you're wondering, it's just above user uh, and views. So go ahead and save that. So now they have the permission to act as an affiliate. I guess what I should have mentioned, uh, I took it for granted because I had all my modules installed, I'm sorry. Um, when we come over here, you're gonna to wanna to find the affiliate module and that'll be down um, by Ubercart. So you're gonna grab Ubercart Affiliate 2. You're also going to go ahead and go apply for role, and so that's under user management. You're going to go ahead and grab that. And you're going to go for profile two. Oops, no space. And you'll scroll down, and then you're going to check that one off. Just profile two. You can use profile two pages, but I'm not going to show you how to use those here. Um, and then that's just listed under other. And then also what we haven't used up till now is triggers. Um, and so that's actually up top. And so just check that off because we're going to use uh, actions and triggers uh, out of Drupal core to start notifying people when their uh, applications are approved or denied for uh, affiliate roles. So those are the modules. So sorry, getting back to our system now, what we have to do is create a profile type. So we're going to go to structure profile types. And normally you have a main here. I deleted it because I don't need it. I, you can delete it or use it. It's up to you. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and add a profile and I'm going to call this affiliate. And the reason why we need a profile is because this will allow us to collect the information on how we're going to pay our users. So I would base mine on PayPal. So here I have to actually get a PayPal address. And because we installed the email field previously, I can use that as well. So I'll save that. Save the field settings. And I can require that and just save that. And actually, sorry, what I should have mentioned is we should make this private. So. Um, we can do that. The profile two module uh, provides us with this functionality, so we should save that. Now that's saved. And then I would also collect their first name. And that's assuming you don't have another profile that's already doing this. I won't be, so I'm just going to collect their first name and their last name. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, what we have to do is go and configure apply for role. And we do that under configuration people apply for role. And so here, Allow multiple roles for application? No, we, they can only choose the one. Apply for role and registration? Yes, I want to make that optional. 
because we could have regular users who are coming to create a profile and we don't want to actually make them become affiliates. They could just be regular users. Depends on how your site's set up. Display approved roles in the application form. Sure, yep, we'll do that. Allow an application uh, message. Yes, sure, they can apply uh, and let us know why they're applying. And then we'll go ahead and update. So just that last checkbox was just the role that they're allowed to apply for, so that's affiliates. So now that we have that set up, what we have to do is check out our affiliate settings. So let's go over to configuration and we will go to affiliates here. And you'll notice that I'm just gonna go right into um, the root for this menu structure. And you'll see here, and you'll see here we've got the number of affiliates right, right off the order and we can see just at a high glance their clicks, their users, their orders, right? And so I currently I am the only administrator that's available uh, as an affiliate, so that's why I am showing up here. And you see that there's some default reports right out of the box. But more importantly, the one thing I want to draw your attention to is the banner links. And so what you can do here for actual banners is you can provide an image tag that's wrapped around their uh, affiliate URL. And then you can also do with some, uh, some affiliate text. So I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. Um, but you can also check out, or rather configure the commissions. Um, so this commission structure, you can do it as a hierarchy. Uh, I've never done it, so I'm not entirely familiar with it, but I guess as you kind of walk down uh, who signs up, or who gets who is in another affiliate, um, their commissions um, cascade down. So you'll see that you're able to set those for the number of roles that actually have the permission to become affiliates, right? So um, the cascading down is five, three, two, two, one by the looks of the default. Uh, but again, I don't know too much about that. And then lastly, we've got the settings here on how your actual affiliates are set up. So, uh, you know, you can have your upline affiliates. Again, don't know too much about that. Um, more importantly, when your actual um, affiliate payments are applied, and that's when the order is completed, you could do that on PayPal uh, payment received, uh, or the actual order is completed and finalized. It's entirely up to you. We have the ability to create a new URL if, you know, we get a user that comes with an invalid affiliate link so we can always redirect them and then we've got this default affiliate link you'll see that we're using clean URLs here as opposed to uh, URLs that are uh, got the query argument and then we're obviously going to hide the IP address for privacy reasons and then you've got the, the cookie tracking here so uh, if you're not familiar with this you can essentially set a cookie for the visiting user that uh, anytime they come back and make another purchase that um, affiliate will always get some type of commission from you so that's a nice incentive to your affiliates and you can obviously change this to be one year, two years, I don't know, a day, whatever you want. And then you have the uh, functionality, fine grain controls for how that actually happens. So I'm not gonna change the defaults, just gonna leave it as is, but those are my affiliate settings. Now what I need to do is set up some actions and triggers. And so I think I always get these mixed up, but first we're gonna go into actions and we're gonna create an email action. So this advanced action down here, we're gonna send an email and so this label is uh, send email for role application approval and the recipient you'll notice if we come down here we've got these available. and so apply for role has its own token so we can check that out and there's the email the applicant's email address so let's click that in there and it automatically populates and then uh, for subject we can you know um, approval of, and then I guess we can throw in the site name or something like that. I'll leave it to you. You can go through all these tokens, but I'll just say, you know, approval of application. And then you can put in a message, you know, congrats, your application, and then at our site, token, whatever, uh, and pull in some of these and go ahead and save that. Right? And sorry, one thing I should mention there is because we're asking them to fill out their PayPal information before we actually pay them. In your message, I would recommend that you actually state that. Say, you know what, you need to go to this page to um, fill out your PayPal information so that we can pay you. And then provide a link to that. And I'll show you where we get that a little bit later when we're working on this. So that's the uh, application approved. We also have to do a you know advanced action for uh, application denied. So again, we go in here. And then recipient. Again, we'll look at the tokens. Apply for role. We're gonna choose the email. And then, you know, your application was denied. Again, recommend you throw a token in there for your site name, and then you throw in whatever message you want. We'll go ahead and save this. Now what we need to do is we need to go to our triggers. So those are our structure, uh, structure triggers, 
and we've got to apply for role here. And so when a user, when an admin approves a user's role, we can send an email here under system for role application approval. Let's go ahead and assign that. And then, you know, when an admin denies a user's application, again, we should have our uh, denial. Looks like I didn't actually save it. For, oh, I didn't update it. So that's the send email. So I can go ahead and apply that. And then you can also do, um, you know, there's an, uh, when an admin approves the user's application, I don't know what I did, whatever. Um, there's a few different ones that you can actually play with here, right? So uh, you're good to go. You see that we've got this set up, we've got this set up, and sorry, the third one was admin deletes the user uh, application. So again, you could probably send the, um, the email, but you wanna make sure you don't duplicate there, so. So that's our uh, actions and triggers to make sure that users are aware. Now we'll go ahead and we'll actually test this system out. So I'm gonna again open up an anonymous site, UC Toronto Website Developer. And I've got my settings restricted here. So what I should do is just go to people. Nope, gotta go to configuration, account settings. And then visitors can create, but administrator approval is required, administrator approval. We'll go ahead and save that. So we'll go down here, we'll reload our page, create new account, and we'll just call this like Pete, right? My email, whatever, my password, whatever. There we go. Select the role, affiliate, that's our apply for role. Go ahead and create that. Right, we get our, our application has been received. Thanks for applying. Would have gotten our email as an administrator. Now what we want to do is come in here, go to people, role applications. And we see that we're pending, we can go ahead and approve. And actually one thing that I should have mentioned is by default, you won't get the email from the administrator saying that this application was provided. At least I don't think you do. So you might want to create another action and trigger so that when a user submits an application, you get an email that says that they've done so. But that's it. Regardless, uh, we've approved the affiliate status. My site set up that I have to approve um, users, so I can go ahead and you'll notice that interestingly, since the time that I set this up, I've gotten a spam user request. So there's a good reason for making sure that you have spam protection, specifically Mollum. So there we go. So now I'm active. I'm an affiliate. I can go back over here, log in. password great and so I just want to go up to my account and here is where we get some cool stuff we got the affiliate center so you can see manage your business here and users actually have to go into edit and of course we forgot the permissions sorry about that what you need to do is you need to go to people permissions and you need to go down to the profile profile too, and you need to be able to edit your own, so authenticated users, and view your own. Sorry about that, totally forgot that. So save those permissions. Now when we go back and we go to edit, you'll see that we've got account and we've got affiliate, so we'll click on that. And here we can add our PayPal address, so peter at paypal.com. My first name is P, my last name is Y. We'll go ahead and save that. Now when we go to view, We've got our PayPal address, so we know how to pay our users. So that's what you want to include. Um, and just referencing it in terms of the um, triggered email to users, you can see here, you can use uh, user. This would be a um, percentage sign, so a token, uh, and then edit affiliate. And then that's how users can get directly to their, um, their account through that email that you actually send to them. But more importantly, you've got the affiliate center. So this is provided by the actual module, and you'll see you, you clearly want to clean this up with some CSS. But nice thing is you got this nice dashboard that kind of shows you, you know, your sales today, your clicks, all that kind of stuff. And then real quickly, your affiliate links. So remember I was talking about that we can go ahead and we can uh, create kind of the default for these, but the, the user can essentially go and say, you know, this is, uh, I'm great. And then whatever, they have a link that says, I'm great, that would link to this site, right? Uh, so they can also, uh, generate those links here to specific products and then export and then grab them in HTML or a CSV file. 
and that's if they want to create a feed, right? And then they can look at their commissions. They've got this unique click count. They've got all their orders. And then what I was talking about before, kind of down the line, how it's all working, um, tiered affiliates. So that's it. That's all there is to creating an actual affiliate system for your e-commerce site. Uh, and it's a, you know, a serious boost for your actual sales. So I would definitely recommend that you check it out. If this video tutorial helped you, as always, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Let me know. Appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And again, if you do have a question, please use the comments on youtube.com or my website, torontowebsitedeveloper.com. It's the easiest way for me to get back to you and it also helps everybody else learn from the difficulties that you're having and allows me to respond to everybody rather than a specific one-off. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy this entire video tutorial series and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.